Hello, my name is Muhammad Chavki Fidaus bin Saili and my metric number is 07DM20F1024. My name is Muhammad Hilman bin Jamle and my metric card number is 07DM20F1007. My name is Claudia Adela Chalarius, metric number 07DM20F1010. Hello, my name is Ismail Hakim. My matrix number is 07DEM20F1023. The introduction for this report is the objective of welding is to produce a welding joint that contains the same mechanical properties as the best metal. The objective can be achieved if the molten metal is free from atmospheric air. If not, nitrogen and oxygen gases in the atmosphere will be absorbed by the melting pool. The welding produced will have small core that will weaken the weld. To prevent the welding, molten metal and the end of the filler rod and electrodes from atmospheric air pollution before the molten metal becomes solid inert gas is blown out from the welding point. These gases will cover the welding pools, the filler rod points and electrode tips to avoid oxidation. Our group decided to conduct a case study on firework rack which uses a welding application to clarify the welding work information and proceed about type of welding used in our application and basic concept for gas metal upgrading. First of all, types of welding used in this application. Based on the picture, we can see the type of welding on our product called firewood track are gas metal up welding or metal in it gas welding. We go through basic concept for gas metal up welding. Metal inert gas and metal active gas welding are gas metal up welding processes that use heat created from a DC electric arc between a consumable metal electrode and a workpiece which melt together to create a weld pool that uses to form a joint. The only difference between MIG and MAG is the type of shielding gas used. The makeup of the shielding gas is important as it has a significant effect on the stability of the arc, the metal transfer, and the degree of spectrum. The shielding gas also impacts the behavior of the weld pool with particular regard to the penetration and mechanical properties of the welder joint. That's all from me. Thank you. Now for the advantages and disadvantages for gas metal up welding and MIG. The advantages is high deposition efficiency when used in certain transfer modes. All electrode weight is deposited into the weld whereas with other process you must account for stop loss, flux lag, etc. No slide to chip as compared to shielded metal arc welding and flux core arc welding. The process can be used on thin materials with relative ease if properly set. Gas tungsten arc welding can also be used on thin materials but in many cases such as outer body, gas metal arc welding wins hands down. Low hydrogen weld deposit with all electrodes high production factor since no slide is required to be removed and uses a continuous electrode. Next, the disadvantages of gas metal up welding. The first point is required a wire pattern which is difficult to move and sometimes be a maintenance or repair burden. The second point is need shielding gas so welding in windy condition can be difficult. The third point is no slate system, so out of position welds can sometimes be more difficult. The fourth point is increased chance of lack of fusion if parameter and welding technique is not controlled. Last but not least, the gun is difficult to get into tight places. Now I will present about the type of joint. The first joint is T joint. T joint is a joint made between two pieces of metal are placed together to form a T. It used to weld stiffeners in aircraft and other thin weld structures. Second joint is butt joint. Butt joint is made between two pieces of metal lying in the same plane. Use it used to buy well light sheet metal. Lastly, corner joint. Corner joint made when two pieces of metal are placed at right angle to each other 
to, to make a 90 degrees angle. The joint used for both light and heavy gauge sheet metal. I will present about safety element. To protect eyes and face, we must use equipment, welding helmet, hand shield, or goggles. It protects us from radiation, hot slap, sparks, intensive light. We fire resistant head covering under the helmet where appropriate. Next, to protect lungs, we must use equipment respirators. It protects us from humus and oxidus. To protect skin from exposed, we must use equipment, flame resistant clothing and appearance. It protects us from heat, fire, burns and radiation. Notes Pen should not have curve, should should have flaps over, pockets or be tape close. To protect ear, we must use equipment earmark or ear plugs. It protects us from noise. Use fire resistant ear mark where sparks or splatter may enter the ear rather than plugs. Working procedure Firstly, check power cable connection, connect gun cable to proper welding terminal on welding machine and work cable and connect to proper terminal on welding machine. Number two, start welding machine by pressing on button O. In case of the engine drive, start engine. Number three, turn on wire feed unit. Number four, check gas shielding supply system. Number five, check water flow if gun water cool. Number six, set wire feed speed control for types and size of filler wire and for job. Number seven, voltage with the start should be set to confirm the type and thickness of material being well diameter of filler wire, the type of shielding gas, and the type of arc. Number 8, adjust, the, adjust for proper electrode extension beyond contact tube. Number 9, to start up, touch of the electrode wire to proper place and weld joint. Usually, just sheet of weld, weld bed with current shirt of lower helmet and press the gun trigger on touch. That's all. Thank you.